How do you handle customer complaints? Do you uh, shudder and lock yourself in the office? Uh, do you see a complaint and uh, get on your supervision for not doing a good job? Here's uh, something that I ran across that I thought was, was pretty interesting. It's called the LEARN principle. And uh, see if you might not be able to apply this in your operation and if it might not give you some uh, good ways of handling customer complaints. First of all, when a customer complains, we can really kind of turn it into a positive because the customer is pointing out to us a potential weak area in our company. And the worst thing we can do is when we get a, a, a call from our customer to tell us that, they're terminating the contract and we find out that there were a number of problems along the way that we didn't know about. So it's uh, when we get a call from the customer we want to take it in the right light. But now let's look at this learn principle. Let's break it down letter by letter. First of all uh, the letter L and that really helps us to appreciate that we need to listen to our customer. Uh, when the customer calls we don't want to interrupt them uh, before they've actually told us uh, the concern that they have. Um, but we want to listen to what they have to say before we react. And then there's the letter E. So what would that stand for? Well, we want to emp empathize with the customer. Uh, we want to do things like, I appreciate that why you would feel that way. We don't want to say, or, uh, well, you know, that we'll take care of it tonight. Don't worry about it. Uh, we really want to, if they're calling us, they're concerned and we want to feel their concern. Or you could really say we want to feel their pain. Uh, but that will help us to react. And uh, certainly sometimes when people call, they just want to know that someone is listening to them and can really appreciate what they're saying. Uh, the letter A, that stands for apologize. Even if you feel that it wasn't your fault, what does it hurt by just apologizing. I really apologize that that didn't take place last night, but I'll investigate that today. Uh, that goes a long way to calming down the customer, and the customer feels that someone is listening, someone is empathizing with them, and uh, they get an apology, or at least we're taking some of that blame, and we're not trying to turn it around uh, so that they feel that their call that's initiated to us is, is felt as unimportant. And how about the letter R? R means to react. Uh, the way we react to a customer's complaint uh, is very important. Uh, decide what you'll do to solve the problem. Uh, not to just merely investigate why it happened, but find a solution and let them know that. Communicate to your customer. So the final uh, letter is the letter N. And that stands for now. So don't delay taking action. Take immediate action on what the customer is complaining about. So quickly then, uh, if we implement this LEARN principle, we have the letter L, which means to listen. We have the letter E, to empathize with our customer. The letter A, don't be afraid to apologize. The letter R, we want to be quick to react. And then the letter N, is now. Don't delay. Put this at the top of the list. If we do this thing, these uh, follow this principle, it'll really help us to handle effectively uh, customer complaints.